From Persuasion to Argument, How to Navigate the Shift in Teaching. This PowerPoint presentation is an introduction to the use of argument, which the Common Core State Standards will use in place of persuasion. Key ideas are taken from a blog by Eye on Education's Senior Editor Lauren Davis. The link to the original blog is included in this page and on the source or bibliography page. On the second page from Persuasion to Argument, I have given the definition of persuasion as when you want to convince someone to do or believe something. Speeches and sermons, lyrics and logic, billboards and bumper stickers, magazines and newspapers, commentaries and commercials, love letters and literature, etc. The literature of persuasion is all around us. This is from LAUSD's ELA Instructional Guide, Grade 7. A source from www. 12manage.com gave the four P's of persuasion of the, or the persuasive written message as promise, picture, proof, and push. And of course the main message would be promise. In the photo a man holding a pen has his right hand extended as a gesture of trust to persuade the customer. On the third page from persuasion to argument I have given the definition of argument as it is about logic and reason, not emotion. A pictorial reference is given with a link to teaching argument writing by George Hillix, Jr. In the photo, a man and a woman appear to have been arguing in the non-academic sense of the word. On the fourth and fifth page, from Persuasion to Argument, I have given the five steps for persuasive writing and speaking. They are, one, be aware of and address the other side of an issue, two, avoid common logical errors such as hasty generalizations. Three, look for examples in newspaper articles. How does the author support his or her claim with logical and clear evidence? Four, effective argumentation requires strong evidence, not just one's opinion and the use of academic vocabulary involving argument. Writing includes such words as claim, evidence, concession, and refutation, etc. And that was the fifth. The photo shows a woman and a man who may have had different backgrounds, but one of the two probably used argument in a convincing manner. The sixth page concludes with page 23 of the Common Core State Standard, which is the grade six writing standard under text types and purposes, anchor standard number one, writing arguments to support claims with clear reasons and relevant evidence. There are five supporting standards which are A, introduce claims and organize the reasons and evidence clearly, B, support claims with clear reasons and relevant evidence using credible sources and demonstrating an understanding of the topic or text, C, use words, phrases, and clauses to clarify the relationships among claims and reasons, D, establish and maintain a formal style, E. Provide a concluding statement or section that follows from the argument presented. The secondary ELA Common Core State Standards and the Anchor Standards for the Writing Strand of Argument on pages 23 and 26, grades 6 to 12, and the Speaking and Listening Strand of Argument on pages 28 to 29, grades 6 to 12. Sources mentioned on pages 1 to 5 of the PowerPoint. Presentation are also included on the source page. Under other sources on the eighth page, I have listed a few additional sources which include some secondary writing samples of the argument genre taken from the Common Core State Standard of Very In-Depth PowerPoint, 68 pages for teaching, the use of argument writing. Also blended learning pages are grades 4 to 12 by Catlin R. Tucker, which includes a section on argument writing. And also a teaching argument versus evidence, an article by Sarah Tentillo, and a YouTube video which the viewer is to decide whether argument or persuasion is used. I hope you enjoyed this short video for persuasion to argument.